It is only a novel, or in short, only some work in which the greatest powers of the mind are displayed, in which the most thorough knowledge of a human nature, the happiest delineation of its varieties, and the liveliest effusions of wit and humor are conveyed to the world in the best chosen language, said Jane Austen in her book, Pride and Prejudice. So, crawling into these books is like being offered a warm release from everything chaotic in our lives. Women's novels are seen like a tub of ice cream which is eaten when no one's looking. So, not all young adults love reading women's novels, but must do, and I do. For me, it's a form of entertainment and also an escape from reality. It may be stereotypical and cliché, but it is comforting and heartwarming. So, why do we read these novels? There are several motives and yet a number of consequences for reading a woman's novel. If a girl can't find that person she can trust, that person she can rely on, or that person um, that she, he can look into her deepest parts of her heart and soul and love her anyway. At least she wants that to happen to her fictional beloved characters, right? So what a girl really wants is the same thing that she wanted when she was a little girl, the fairy tale ending with a happily ever after love story. So, relaxation, entertainment, and also escape are the reasons that really makes us hooked into reading a romance novel. First comes the comfort fact. Romance novels are centered around the same few themes that the writers or publishers, publishers sorry, think we enjoy. So, we read them effortlessly and they seem so natural to us. Romance novels are like eating potato chips while watching your favorite TV show. We we all love chips and we cannot resist it, right? So, such is reading a romance novel. Another reason why romance novels are appealing is because of good writing. There are a lot of romance novels with diverse, thrilling, and different plots. And there are a lot of romance novelists who are fantastic authors. And what every one of us really likes is a happily ever after. So, until that happens, it's the author's job to create moving characters that will seduce the masses to fall in love right with them again and again. A third reason girls like love books is because they can find hope in them, or they can see part of them in the character. Women's novels are completely made up, which is why they can give some girls little hope for a flourishing love waiting for them out there. So, and all girls like fantasizing as well as creating their own world. And romance novels give them exactly what they've always dreamt of. A great thing I find about guys in these books is that they are not only gorgeous or rich, but they also know exactly what to say and what to do, which is a quality girls cannot find in real life. So, now, there are several books that uh, admit that love isn't that easy, and it may not last a lifetime. These books provide an excellent stepping stone for a young girl who is reading them. So what are the consequences of reading a romance novel, and what can we learn from a good one? In these few hundred pages, the girl that is reading the book hasn't only had rest, but she also gained the experience on how to tackle problems, um, face obstacles, and also implement solutions. So the comfort fact, a good writing, finding hope, and finding a part of the character are the things that really makes us hooked into reading a romance novel. So go on and grab that romantic book and start reading it, because I know that there is a small part of each one of you that has hope, and maybe you will be the exception someday, and your love novel will feature you as the girl the guy will do anything for. Thank you.